Hi, I'm James, and in this video we are working on a Dell Inspiron 13 5378 2-in-1 laptop. And first step that we need to do is get the thing opened up. So we are going to flip it over, and we have a small crosshead screwdriver here. So we are just going to work around removing these screws from the base. All of these screws should be the same size and all should come out pretty easily. There's nothing hidden on this one. So we are just going to work around and take everything out. This particular machine is um, the Intel Pentium based model, uh, Pentium Gold, uh, rather than one of the Core i3 or i5 or i7 based models. However, internally they should be pretty much the same. Um, and this particular model has a mechanical hard drive rather than an SSD. So you might find there are some variances in models which have an SSD instead. Now with those screws removed we're going to take our pry tool and what we want to do is start releasing along the back edge, sorry this isn't very well focused, along here. Um, now the easiest way to do this I tend to do from the other side, um, but I'll work from here. So we want to push in our pry tool and try and release these clips. We don't want to work along the front edge as actually once everything is released it kind of lifts up and forwards. So we're going to start in each corner. And then down the sides. Let's start on the side here actually because that sometimes makes it a bit easier. Um, this machine has been opened once before uh, which does make things a little bit easier so don't be surprised if you just need to use a little extra to get things going. And then we're going to go here along the back and then along the vent here, I believe there are still some clips, but it's obviously a bit harder to pry um, just because you have like this mesh. So it's a bit awkward to do this because like I say, I normally sort of have the action from the other side. Maybe just use a bit of fingers there. Okay, and with that released, we then lift up and the insides of the machine are revealed to us. Now before we do anything more we are going to gently here just push down or pull down on the edges of the clip through sort of the black coating there and disconnect the battery. That means we're not going to accidentally turn this on. Now this model, because it has the hard drive, we don't have the M2 connector here. Um, if you have a model which has a M2 drive, you'd find that, and the M2 SSD here. So, to install our SSD, what we need to do now is remove the hard drive. So, we remove one screw here, a second down here and put these to one side and the third screw for the hard drive is actually part of the rear cover. We're going to lift the hard drive up, turn it round and just disconnect the SATA connector. Now this is a uh, I believe 7mm thick hard drive so it's not one of the ultra slim ones you can find and that should be fine with most SSDs. I'm using a 240GB SanDisk here. So we are now going to release the four screws from the edge of the hard drive caddy. And with that done, we can lift the drive out from the caddy and put it to one side. Take our SSD and with the SATA connectors to the back and the drive facing upright, we're going to slot that back in the caddy. 
and replace the screws. Uh, if your SSD comes with some spacers for putting it in, uh, you don't need to use this because like I say, it's a 7mm thick drive caddy, or drive bay, not a 9.5 uh, and because it's screwed in you wouldn't really need those spaces in place anyway so with that in place and what we can see here as well so you have uh, here is where the SSD would be mounted across here and you'd have a larger battery uh, if this was an SSD model instead so we are now going to slip the drive back into place. Let's lift it up and reconnect the SATA connector. And put back our mounting screws. And our SSD is installed. Now all that is left to do is reassemble the machine. So first of all we are going to reconnect our battery. We then want to take the base for the system and now there are some magnets in here which um, actually help sort of line this up and we want to make sure it's in place and make sure we get it lined up along this front edge so kind of press down and get those clips in place first because that way everything going further backwards will be in the right place. We then press down around and all that is left to do now is to put back our screws and fire the laptop back up. I hope you found this video useful. Um, I've done a few different guides for this uh, machine covering different aspects of it, so do check out my other videos. Um, hit a like if you found this video useful, and let me know in the comments what you've done to upgrade your Dell Inspiron 13 inch 2 in 1 system. Thanks for watching, and like I say, I hope this has been helpful.